The podcast you are listening to of Holmberg's Morning Sickness is brought to you by my friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet, mesquite, repeat. Trust me on this one. You've had barbecue before, but you haven't had it this good. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Eric'sFamilyBBQ.com. Eric's Family Barbecue has arrived and is simply the best barbecue in Arizona. Come satisfy your taste buds with meats that are smoked over mesquite wooden sides that are made with fresh ingredients and tons of love. They have the best, juiciest brisket, pulled pork, rib sausage, turkey, or everyone's favorite, the Pitmaster Sampler that includes all the meat and four sides. Mac and cheese, potato salad, coleslaw, corn, or beans, yum. And for dessert, try some creamy banana pudding. Amazing. Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meat, mesquite, repeat. Make the trip. You won't be sorry. Dine in or take it to go. Go to Eric's Family Barbecue bbq.com for more info it's something something check out homework's morning sickness podcast at 98kupd.com all right you guys still have a minute and a half you can take word golf 97936 golf just as easy as that and get yourself uh in the running for a thousand bucks coming up here uh we'll draw it before eight we'll have another word at eight o'clock the word at eight o'clock uh we'll get you another shot at a thousand dollars it's just that easy damn it Golf, you have one minute. 97936. Get on that. It'll give you a little thing that says you did it right. And then uh, maybe uh, Randall or whoever calls. Is it Randall does all the calling? Yep. Or he just draws them and then draws calls, calls later. Him. All right. Oh, no, he calls Like immediately? Right. Yeah. Oh, good for him. That's why right. we've been getting the winners so quickly. All right, Randall. So yeah, you might get a call from our own Mark Randall in a little bit. Oh, yay. Yeah. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm getting a call from Mark Randall. That's exciting. <laughs> Said no one ever. Except for today, twice a day. Well, maybe, does he do all six? Maybe all six times a day. I think he does, think he does them all, yeah. Mark Randall makes to make six calls that eventually everyone's happy to hear from him. <laughs> That's great stuff. Anyway, get on that. Uh, do you have the music ready? Yep. Our female uh, correspondent, Jay Gutentag. Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, speaking for the ladies. She's, kick in. Is it the I, I'm Every Woman? God, it's such a great song. It's hard not to sing this as a man, even. It's a really good soul song. Uh... Jay represents all the ladies listening uh, because none of you have disagreed with that. So uh, here's Jay's take on uh, my sounds when I talk about lesbians. Go ahead. John, good morning. Hello, ma'am. Brett, Brady, Dick. (laughs) Check it out, John. You keep having these, like, conversations about what lesbians sound like in bed, right? I got to put you in bed with some lesbians. I'm not going to be here, but but we need to get you in bed with a couple lesbians. Okay. Because, dude, that is not what it sounds like. So if you could imagine, and I don't know, I'm sure you can, a chick getting off and just having an awesome orgasm and what that that sounds like to the ears, sometimes it's better than listening to the Deftones, dude. (laughs) Sometimes. That is not what lesbian sex sounds like. Remember, lesbian sex is Orgasm after orgasm, oh, climax uh, after climax. Okay. <laughs> hey, I love you guys. Jay Gutentag here. Peace. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. That's beautiful. Well, that's for the ladies. I'll never listen to the Tones the same yeah. way ever <laughs> All I'm going to do is think about it. <laughs> Gutentag sitting at home. Man, is that shut up and drive? <laughs> oh, man, my honey hole's all tingly, man. I like when Chino starts to croon, man. Makes my nethers puff. Drip. Drip. <laughs> oh, no. Too far. <laughs> Is this the karaoke version? Yep. Nah. We need to hang on to that. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that, everybody. Yeah, so Jay just spoke for the ladies, and I apologize to all the lesbians out there when I assume that there's vapor lock involved. I don't know how that works. I just know that when you get... Like, if I were to take, like, a, a rubber tube with a hole in it and put water all over it and then take another rubber tube, put water all over that, and then start to work, work them together, they're going to stick together. <laughs> Eventually, they're going to go. <laughs> Paper lock. It's a thing. Good luck out there. Thank you, Jay, for explaining that. And ladies, your representative did you uh, very well today. So, appreciative. That's how it works. All right, uh, 8 o'clock words coming up in a little bit. You're done with golf. Golf is over, Brady. You can't do it anymore. Darn it. Uh, and you can't do that one. But in a few minutes, I'll give you another one, and you can get yourself uh, another shot at thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, it is Tuesday. That means 
You can head to Hooters. Check out the 11 lunch special starting at 8 bucks each. Wash it down with a delicious Bud Light. Hooters and Bud Light bring you this Brady Report. Brady Report. It. Good Tuesday morning to you, Phoenix. Hello, world. Hi. Happy National Beer Lovers Day. Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. That's a good day. A couple of baseless fun facts. Tigers are nearly invisible to their prey, who see orange as green. Oh. Tigers are orange because mammals cannot produce green fur. Hmm. The orange was the next best thing. No kidding. So there is there an animal that produces green fur? Isn't fur unique to mammals? Right. Sure. Yeah, they're, they're called that, mammals. That, yeah. So that, there is the no green, such thing as green fur. Yeah. Naturally. And I, I went down the line thinking of different mammals in the like fur birds, bearing. Some birds, I guess. But that's not really. Not fur. It's fe- feathers are different yeah. from, yeah. Huh. Even the goose down. But it's still, a, that would be a feather, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Well, it's sort of interesting. And midway through it, I realized it might not be. <laughs> <laughs> Jeanette Rankin from Montana was the first woman elected to Congress. She didn't even vote for herself. Because she was elected in 1916. Wasn't allowed she to. Could four years before they could vote. Back in the good old days. <laughs> well, that's what my grandpa called him. I don't know. It sounded like a nice time. Larry King once got into a car accident with JFK. Whoops. Sorry about that. Almost got into an accident with his brother once, but he, uh, he dodged it and went into a lake. <laughs> when JFK was a senator, King crashed into his car. JFK told him, it was fine. He wouldn't report it as long as King voted for him when he ran for president. Why uh, don't you look out for where you're going? You know I could have been hurt? Yeah, that's nothing compared to what's going to happen there in your next car ride. <laughs> uh, the Tuesday following Labor Day mm-hmm. is known today. as Telephone Tuesday. Today is Telephone Tuesday. Okay. It's the first Tuesday after Labor Day. Always a big spike in phone calls to businesses. Because everyone's back after a long weekend, and most businesses weren't answering their phone. Wouldn't that be like Memorial Day, too? And huh. Labor Day has more President's Day. Yeah. 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 Again, somewhat interesting, also quite dull. <laughs> I don't know how you're doing that. Uh, also, the other survey was, is Labor Day the true end of summer? Is it? Twenty twenty six percent of Americans feel like Labor Day marks the true end of summer. Well, no, nineteen percent said it's when school starts back up. No, no, we got like thirty nine percent. Fifteen more days. Right? It has nothing to do with when we say. <laughs> yeah. Are keeping summer alive until the official first day of fall, which right. is the twenty second. Yeah, because that's how long summer lasts. Right. <laughs> the poll also found that seven percent of people had their worst summer ever. Sixteen percent said uh, last summer? year was. Oh yeah, well, yeah. Only sixteen percent said last year. Yeah. yeah. Well, when asked, millennials got dramatic. <laughs> yeah, of course, right. the worst summer ever. ever. It's the hardest time ever to be alive. <laughs> My Amazon package took a day. It's so hard to be alive today. I oh, had to group my packages into an Amazon day delivery for all of them. You don't even know about injustice till you've lived a day in my shoes. Really? Did you hear that thing about the lady who couldn't vote for herself? Okay. <laughs> Babies. I found this list, uh, another survey of uh, 10 car repairs we can do ourselves. Not me. I know one now in Recent Mexico. Recent <laughs> asked people what type of car repairs they can do themselves. I see where this is going already. Yeah. Number one. Windshield wipers. Yep. Insta- <laughs> install new windshield wipers. That's yeah. number one. Yeah. Yeah. 36% of Americans have done before. But Larry Not Curly, yeah, Larry, Larry Curly and Dip couldn't figure it out to save our asses for weeks on end. We were terrible at it. Add more wiper fluid. That's easy. Thirty four percent. Got to put it in the right spot though. I think we yeah. got that one covered. Don't put that in your antifreeze. You Fingers crossed. I would. I'll pop the hood on my car, and I'm not so sure I could do it. That thing's so confusing. It's all this big giant computer yeah. blob, and then that thing in the corner. Maybe it still says washer fluid on top. It's got, right? I think it's got a picture of got a picture yeah, of the, yeah, yeah, the, the washer wipers. And, yeah. yeah, it's got that. It's got pictures and for you. Thank John. God. Here's how I know: blue. 
<laughs> if the, it, it, oh, it, is your cap blue? No, no, no. The inside of that tank is filled with blue stuff. They oh. do, but now they have yeah. green, too, oh, that, that actually yes. does, it cleans ours, the bugs off. I was going to say, ours yeah. is green, yep. yeah. But that's the same color as the other stuff. As antifreeze. Yeah. Oh, you don't but then antifreeze can come in orange as well. Oh, they got to make it uniform. Both taste great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Less fillings. <laughs> Brady's new TikTok chat. <laughs> What's in this tank? Uh, I know Fitz is going to go crazy on this. Nerd candies or nerds has teamed up with uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, God. For a limited so edition. They're nerd gummy clusters. D and D. Yeah. All right. Figurines. Just what we needed. This guy from Nebraska. Tell me more about green fur. <laughs> Speaking of drinking antifreeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 39-year-old dude from Omaha, Nebraska, went to a Taco Bell drive through a couple of weeks ago. It was uh, 2 in the morning. He had a lot going on. Oh, hey. Hey. In addition to driving, he was eating, talking to a friend on the phone, and he was also admi- admiring a knife that someone had given him. <laughs> it's unclear if it was the same friend on the phone, but at some point his vehicle hit a large pothole or bump in the road. And the jolt made the knife into Ooh, his eye. Yikes. <laughs> it went right into his right thigh. Sorry. Um, but he Ooh, left a pretty deep artery? picture. Missed it. Damn it. But he drove himself to the emergency room. Not sure if he got to finish his Taco Bell or not. <laughs> well, I'm he sure made, he, he made did. It. I'm sure he did. Yeah. <laughs> it's USA. He's resourceful. They, ate, they finished their meal. Border police at Rome's main airport have prevented... A Naples tobacco shop owner suspected of running off with the customer's winning ticket had a lottery scratch off worth uh, five hundred eighty thousand dollars. The elderly woman walked into his uh, shop right. to verify the tickets. One of the employees got the t- ticket and says, "Yeah, these are winners." Then hands it to the owner. Owner says, "Looks at the tickets like it is. Let me go in the back to verify everything." Double gets on his scooter and heads out. <laughs> Back to his house at the Vatican, stupid pope. So he was on his way to the Canary Islands. Oh, but uh, the Italy um, scratchers uh, department, basically, or the lottery department, froze all winning tickets in that no area, so he couldn't. No one could cash it in. They knew the tickets came from that location. There, they got He's the Italian. guy. Italian. You kill the old lady, then take the ticket. No. Your people have lost touch. No, nah, nah, he wasn't a true Italian. He was, <laughs> he was somebody that you know opened a business up over there. Sicilian. <laughs> Close. They Naples. don't do nothing right. <laughs> Let alone he took off on the scooter. Yeah. But they got him, but um, no tickets. They still haven't been able oh, to find Oh, they don't have them. the ticket. That poor old lady. Whether or not they'll say, okay, well, it seems like her st- story is legit. But they got cameras. That guy's store must really suck, though, if he's ready to give it up over, you know, over the scratcher ticket. Yeah, but I mean, how much was it worth? Five hundred eighty thousand. Yeah, you dump your store for that. Well, it depends dealing on with, the dealing with the general public. Oh, Down that's true. On yeah. a new store. That's true. Yeah, you just leave. Police in St. Louis arrested a twenty-four-year-old man, Antonio Woods. Last Wednesday, he was arrested after allegedly he stole a go kart from three kids, ages four, six, and nine. <laughs> Guy gets out of his car, out of SUV. Another guy was driving it. He gets out of the passenger side, sees the kids in the go kart in this open lawn. Right. Gunpoint pulls it out. Give me the give me the go go kart. It was like grand theft. Yeah. Uh, the surveillance camera across the street catches it. Um, the kids go. Well, the nine year old gone. Yeah. The other two boys, you know, four and six years old. It tell it's it kind of melt a little. Bit. Yeah, and they took off. Grandma evidently was there watching the kids on the go-kart. Good job, Grandma. She called the police, so the guy takes off in the go-kart, and then uh, they catch up with him because he yeah. crashed into a tree. I was going to say, it should be easy to find anyway. Grown man in go-kart. But the uh, they, the news report story is pretty funny. They're interviewing people, how, how they feel about a guy stealing a go-kart from Pretty kids. awful. Yeah. Not one guy said, hey, it's, it's all right. I wish it happened more often. <laughs> The news. I don't know if you heard about this. I think it happened um, late last week, last Thursday. This guy here in Arizona, Rishi Rambaran, mm-hmm. he went to his kid's elementary school a little upset over a mask. Oh, yeah. And he went there with uh, zip tie handcuffs, 
um, and a couple other things. He went to the principal's office to try to take care of business. Sure, he's going to zip tie somebody until yeah. they listen because <laughs> he doesn't yeah. like being told what to do. Yep. That's his big thing. He was going to zip tie someone to a chair and make them listen to him because he hates being told what to do. And no feels, mask mandate. Yeah, he hates feeling like a hostage. <laughs> so he was going to take that person hostage and make his point. I think once I do that, things will be fine. I got a guy emailing me and he's writing it. He's on a, you know, he's running around at these protests saying no mandates, no mandates. You can't do it. Yeah. And, you know, the government shouldn't mandate that, I don't think, for sure. But it hasn't happened yet. So I'm really kind of torn on the whole idea of getting all fired up about something that isn't we're, a thing. We're seeing the uh, vaccine mandate change a little. A little. Well, because in they areas. allowed it that sure. your business. And business you can, is a decision. Yeah. That's a choice. As, yep. a, as a citizen, I don't think you should have to do it. If yeah. a business says you can't come in without that, I'm fine with that. Because you have a right not to go to the business. As a citizen, if you're... You know, if the government is demanding they put medicine in you, then I'm questioning that one too. Businesses, I mean, have every right to do it. I got a couple of uh, wild Americas. Okay. And go. Hello, my friends. I'm Brady Bogan, and this is your Wild America. This uh, U.S. mountain climber uh, was in Bolivia. It, this dude, uh, Daniel Granberg, he was. Uh, Trekking across the uh, mountains in La Paz, in Bolivia, outside of Bolivia, and he was on the mountain, the Alimani. <laughs> Wait a minute, where is it? <laughs> La Paz of Bolivia, outside of Bolivia. You're making a mess of La where Paz. this is. Somebody's stroking again. <laughs> it's happening. Should he we? was uh, on the mountain. He's got one more. Oh, we'll get it. No, we'll get it. Ilamani, which is uh, the altitude is around twenty one thousand feet. Um. Evidently, he talked to his mom the night before on the sat phone, right. saying everything's good. I am finding a little shortness. I'm having a little shortness of breath, but sure. no big deal. We'll... You're 20,000 feet up. You're not going to breathe right. So He's two dead. days later, oh boy. a couple of guys find him. He was on the summit. You He's made it. sitting there, dead. The lungs collapsed. He got um, this altitude sickness, and he was basically kind of solo. They finally hauled him off the mountain, but he's been up there for a couple of days. Wonderful story, Brady. It gets it gets better. Oh, oh. he's no, we're not done yet. It was so great. The first, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, first half. Well, the first half is great. I'm riveted. He's dead. By the way, La Stay Paz tuned. is ten thousand five hundred feet above sea level. The city is. This yeah, is in the mountains. Another so he head. he went Jeez. there and he spent two months there to get acclimated. Yeah, and then decided to do the not enough time. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this uh, surfer in Australia. Oh, wait, it's not this, this story doesn't get better. <laughs> no, the stories don't over. get better. Oh, yeah, okay. that story's gotcha. over. Gotcha. This is moving on to Australia. Okay. We have so a surfer. Confused. Yeah, you'll that get got it. a uh, shark attack. Okay. And the shark ripped the guy's arm off. His other buddies got him out of the water. They get the uh, paramedics there, but it's too late. They he bled out. Can I ask you what about the wild America? Well, you got sharks in the water and you're also climbing in trekking Australia the, and Bolivia. Yeah, you're tra- just outside mountain of the climbing. wild world, Brady. Yeah. You said America. No, I, I said wild that. world. I, I even played the thing. Oh, okay. I'm just making I said sure. wild world. I just, I, I lost interest in your terribly awful, <laughs> uh, depressing stories. Wanted to talk about something else. Jesus. Let's end it with some so shredded, fabulous shredded by, a, shredded by a shark. Nothing fun or funny about it. Just, just. It's a jungle out there, John. <laughs> in the water? <laughs> and an ocean out there. All right. Why that, can't the ocean be a You giant? earned it. You earned it. Thank you. That's what I mean. Dude. He's trying to hold off. The jungle in that ocean. <laughs> I see what you're looking for. Yeah, well, I was trying to. Well, no. I was, no, we're trying the, to get the stories were just depressing. <laughs> Normally, there's a a little, but this happened. No, this is just a dude who died on a mountain. Okay, well, the guy in Australia, no, after don't make the attack. Don't make it worse. The other guys finished surfing that day, and, and the waves were great. All right. Well, that's not how this works, you know. Normally, there's a little bump on the edge that makes it, oof, that's just sad. I want to see that part of the article. <laughs> the man eaten by a shark is, that's, that's, that's actual news. news. That's what I don't like. It's real news. Anyway. All right, before we get into video reactions, you want to give the next oh, yeah. word? The word is retire. Retire. <laughs> <laughs> it's the word today. Retire. Why are you emphasizing that so much? <laughs> Just the word. <laughs>
retire. I don't, know how to, I don't know how to spell that. <laughs> I can help you. Yeah. <laughs> R-E-T-I-R-E. Retire. There you go. 97936. You can start texting retire at 8 o'clock and uh, get in there and maybe win another 1000 bucks, uh, just like someone else just did. We'll tell you who in a second. Go ahead. The first one is a, a good Whoa. fight, video fight, through a, throwing a guy through a glass window. Oh, it doesn't work like it does in the movies when somebody goes through the glass. No. This is an actual He's fight. I think all... this is a stunt. Oh, it is? Oh, like a jackasses. What in the world? Maybe he did it on purpose. Oh, yeah, he just oh, yeah, jumped yeah, through yeah, a window. Yeah. yeah, his buddies are Why? congratulating him. They tried to throw him, and then he ran through it. Wow, he looks like an idiot. Like He's unscathed. Yeah. How did that happen? Lucky. Yeah. Okay. Nothing there. Here's a little some, blood uh, on his on his head, maybe. Oh, he's got a little. Well, I mean, I think that's from gash. hitting his head at the end. Look at him. Uh, I hope oh, I, that's I'm a just dumb. Bloody. Well, hope, maybe that'll be your your teenage kid's next challenge: leap through a pane of glass. Jesus. The next one is some uh, downhill ski training for the Olympics coming up mm-hmm. in a couple of years. Indoors. <laughs> no, it's actually... oh, it is indoor. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Check out the guy, not the guy in front. See another Six guy coming away. to say. I was going to say a couple of years. It's Six like months in February. The oh yeah, that's right. The yeah. winters are yeah. His calendar's winter awesome. Olympics. That's the word again. <laughs> Retire. Today's word should have been stroken. <laughs> I had to give these. It should have been. Okay. Yeah, it should have been forced retirement. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd been stroken every day. Yeah, you can't work here. Anymore. We're worried about your health. All right, people skiing. Oh, that oh, guy's not going to make the Olympics. He just skied right off He's the thing out. into a wall. What happened to him? He lost went high control side. completely. Well, went that's a guy going side. into a wall. That's right. <laughs> little high side. Is that the technical? Term? Brady used to coach Oh, yeah. Skiing. Brady's real good at going downhill, as we've seen this morning. Top speed. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're definitely top speed directly downhill. All right, what's this one? One's for Brett, skateboard video. Oh, man. Guy gets uh, almost double nutted, but got the inside of the thigh. Ooh. All right. We'll see him in slow motion. Oh, 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 oh that's double nutted oh, twice. Oh, it falls off oh, onto the rail. And twice. Oh, and then the, the post holding the rail up gets him a second Look time. Dude. Look at the kid. Oh, oh the reaction oh, the buddies. Oh. Your legs don't do that. He broke his femur, didn't he? And his wrist. Oh, oh that's okay. hard to watch. Oh. Damn. You're not ready for the soul ground. Ow, ow, oh, ow. man, his knee is off. That is awful. What happened? Is he screaming? They don't even get a shot of the kid on the ground, just reactions? They, you of see their, his initial reaction. Of some the kid in David Letterman's khakis? Ooh. What's that guy wearing? Why is that kid in chinos? He's too young for them. <laughs> oh, he's up. Oof. He doesn't feel anything. The internal bleeding will get him later that day. Girls getting hurt. We All got right. the mechanical bull. Oh. It's pretty solid. Already looks good. Oh, little Daisy Duke what shorts going on. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Sissy got knocked on her ass. <laughs> they had another one on girls getting hurt. This yeah, this is the, the one I just sent you. Oh, okay. This Does Wes still bang her after that, or is he no longer turned on? Nah, he's done with that. Ah, that's what I think. A couple of girls enjoying the uh, bull fights. Enjoying? Enjoying. Oh, a bull just comes into the crowd. Oh, man. Hot girls at a bullfight. And the bull. Oh, my God. It just leaps the fence. Are they wearing red? Wow. They just, oh, yeah. They said at least one's wearing red. One's menstruating. And the bull could smell it. They smell blood, right? Whoa. Isn't that what bulls do? Sure. Why wouldn't it? I think that's a thing. The good ones do. <laughs> yeah, well, that one's one of the good ones. Because those girls have uh, matched their cycles, and that's drawing the bulls. Never take menstruating women to a bullfight just in case. Wow. Yowzers. All right, there you go. That is your Brady Report. We're working on it. Retire is the word. Uh, 97936. That's the one you want to fire off right now. Get yourself a shot at $1,000. Uh, six times a day we do that. Easy peasy. You can do it right now. I've already done it once. Why not make you the second winner today? How about that? Uh, retire. 97936. There goes your Brady Report brought to you by Hooters and Bud Light. This is bad. Bad, bad, bad. That's a joke, right? You're, you're joking? You've been listening to Holmberg's Morning Sickness Podcast brought to you by our friends at Eric's Family Barbecue in Avondale. Meet! 
mesquite repeat ericsfamilybbq.com